Now we're going to build a little bit on what you already know about intersections. So this time we are going to look at the intersection of a line and a parabola. So we have a parabola like this. We could have a line that intersects it twice. So there's two points of intersection. We could have a line that only just touches it. So we would call that a tangent and there would be one point of intersection. Or we could have the line that doesn't cross the parabola at all, where there'd be no points of intersection. So say this was, for example, uh, the parabola x squared plus 5x. And we had the line y equals x minus 3, and we want to find those two points of intersection. We would have to put those equations equal to each other and solve it. You've done this before. So solving that equation would give us the x-coordinates of minus 3 and minus 1. So the question then comes up with how do we know how many routes there are? How do we know if there are two points of intersection, one point of intersection, or none? And it's by looking at that equation. When we put them, them equal to each other, we can find out how many solutions of that equation there are, which would tell us how many points of intersection there are. And to find how many roots there are of the equation, we use the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So if it's positive, that would give us two real roots, which means there's two points of intersection. If it's equal to zero, that would give us one repeated root and one point of intersection. And if it's less than zero, that would give us no roots, and that would mean no points of intersection. So we've looked at the discriminant before, but now we're seeing how it applies to um, a practical or geometrical um, application. So here's our little summary and we're going to try it with an example. So we want to find the value of k for which the line y equals x plus 4 is a tangent to the curve y equals kx squared minus x minus 3. So we need to put those um, equal to each other. Now tangent means that we're going to have one point of intersection which means that first of all we're going to set up this equation where we're putting the equations of the the line and the parabola equal to each other and we want the discriminant to be equal to zero so that we can know that it's a tangent. So we need to rearrange this into a quadratic equal to zero so we can pick out the discriminant now working through the discriminant we get the following. For it to be a tangent we need that to be equal to zero. So now we solve it for k and k has to be minus one seventh. Okay, another example. Determine the values of k for which there is no intersection between the line y equals 2x plus 3 and the parabola y equals 2x squared plus kx plus 5. Same situation, we're going to put them equal to each other, the two equations, um, and then we're going to work out how to get no intersection. So this is looking like this. So there's the line, there's the parabola. Right, so we'll put the two equations equal to each other. Rearrange it into a quadratic equal to zero. Now we need to be able to get the b term out of that, so we need to factorize that middle section. So we get k minus 2 times x. Now if we want there to be no intersection, we want no solution to that equation, so the discriminant has to be negative, less than zero. So b squared minus 4ac is as follows, and we're going to set it to be less than zero. You can see now why we practiced inequalities in the last video. Now, working through this equation, or inequality, we have the following. Remember to solve it as if it was equal to zero, and then work out what the inequality is like. So, this is k minus 2 squared minus 16. And we're looking for when it's less than zero, so those points there. So, we need to find our roots of the equation when it would be equal to zero, so we can find out where it crosses the x-axis. So it crosses at 2 and minus 6, and we want that underneath part, remember, so anywhere between minus 2 and, sorry, minus 6 and 2 is going to give us our solution. So k has to be between minus 6 and 2, so that there are no points of intersection, or in other words, no solutions to that original equation where we put them equal to each other.